Hello, this is Paul Auerter from uh, the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and site advisor to Medscape for their infectious diseases pages. Today I thought I would discuss uh, the recent black box warning uh, that was directed to the fluoroquinolone class of antibiotics. Earlier this week I was stopped by a near frantic emergency room attending while I was walking through their department who asked whether I had heard about the Food and Drug Administration's black box warning. He said, well, uh, if we can't use ciprofloxacin or other such drugs, uh, that's going to severely limit his ability to prescribe antibiotics in the emergency room department. So uh, we had a bit of a discussion and I thought it would be a good opportunity to perhaps uh, speak a bit about why this has come to pass. The fluoroquinolones have been long known to be a bit unusual amongst antibiotic classes in the sense that uh, 10 to 15 percent of patients might have some kind of arthritic symptoms while they take the drug, whether it be some mild arthralgia or myalgia. A much smaller percentage of patients, perhaps 1 percent or less, develop a true tendonitis and there are rare reports, or maybe not so rare reports, of uh, tendon rupture and most famously the Achilles tendon. Uh, the drug class has been around for nearly 20 years or more in the case of ciprofloxacin and uh, these sorts of uh, information about side effects has always been part of the package labeling so why now is there a black box warning on this drug? The genesis of this may have come about through public citizens, citizen uh, Sidney Wolf's um, uh, consumer uh, group, uh, who had petitioned the FDA to include a black box warning nearly two years ago. Uh, based on uh, post-marketing FDA data that there were, uh, at that time in 2005, 262 cases of Achilles tendon rupture. Now, uh, for me, thinking about black box warnings, I generally thought about life-threatening circumstances. Uh, QT interval prolongation that could cause a serious arrhythmia, hypoglycemia, uh, uh, are just some of the black box warnings, at least in terms of antibiotics, that uh, we have all come to grips with over the past few years. But these were mainly to avoid serious and life-threatening concerns, and the question is, does it Achilles tendon rupture really rise to that level. Uh, interesting uh, question and uh, I was asking that myself, why would the FDA put a black box warning here? Interestingly, the FDA did not release any uh, numbers or figures on this. In fact, maybe the best study I could find was published in Drug Safety in 2006. Based on Italian data, that was a retrospective case control method. Um, however, uh, given those limitations, they found that the uh, course of tendonitis uh, or a bout of tendonitis after fluoroquinolones had about an odds ratio that might mean it was about twofold more likely in somebody than compared to someone that was not taking the drug. However, if you uh, happen to uh, take a corticosteroid and a fluoroquinolone together, you had a 43-fold increased risk for experiencing a tendon rupture. So I think uh, even though this message has been there for a while, and in fact the risk factors for developing a serious problem such as a tendon rupture, uh, has been people who use steroids, uh, and people over the age of 60, and then uh, patients who have had organ transplants. Uh, in fact, what I've always said to people is that the poster child for developing a serious tendinopathy or tendon rupture from the fluoroquinolone drugs was the 65-year-old triathlete who had a kidney transplant and was taking steroids for asthma. So this is somebody that you may not want to give a fluoroquinolone to. But I think the Food and Drug Administration administration use the black box in a way to uh, uh, raise the consciousness uh, of this issue even though it's a fairly rare event. Is this the right method? Uh, I wonder many of us physicians uh, ask now with a black box warning every time we prescribe a fluoroquinolone besides a casual uh, discussion about uh, alerting people to arthritis and tendon rupture, do we now have to incorporate this into our documentation when we just prescribe 
describe this. Uh, are patients going to be hesitate to, hesitant to take antibiotics, uh, such as ciprofloxacin now with the black box warning? Uh, will there be collateral damage because of this increased warning that maybe outweighs the benefits from alerting people to this rare uh, instance of tendon rupture, which might at best estimates be one in six uh, thousand uh, as a case uh, occurrence, and that might be, I believe, on the high end estimate. So uh, I'm not sure we have any answers. Uh, FDA has uh, petitioned the drug manufacturers of all systemic fluoroquinolones to include this black box warning. I feel it will probably be here to stay. Uh, of course, we should counsel our patients about this possibility. And I guess uh, if the black box warning is a way that lets both physicians and patients know that um, any uh, significant arthritic symptoms or tendon symptoms should alert them to stop using the drug. Uh, that's not an unreasonable uh, path. Certainly, uh, uh, I feel that fluoroquinolones are generally an overprescribed class, especially in some populations, such as a nursing home, but they may not be at a special risk for tendon rupture either. So uh, all in all, uh, this is something which I think uh, we will have to grapple with with our patients. And uh, even though it's an uncommon problem, I think it will cause uh, more discussions and um, how that will all uh, come to bear on the use of the fluoroquinolone class, I think will be likely minor. They're obviously very effective drugs for serious infections. Uh, but uh, this is something that gives one pause to perhaps not using the drug when uncertain if uh, there's truly a need for a drug as potent as a fluoroquinolone. Well, uh, that's all that I uh, wish to say. If you have some uh, thoughts or additions on this, I know many people have been upset over a black box warning for this particular indication, viewing it as something quite uh, 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 unnecessary sort of a pea shooter kind of a deal when uh, other items such as treating infection are really uh, much more important. Uh, I welcome your thoughts. This is Paul Auerder signing off uh, for Medscape.